Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday on this February 8th. Good to see everybody. Good to see you, Mark. Good to see you, everyone. Michael, everybody. Phil, Charlie, good to see you, everyone. Wow, you guys type really fast. <laughs> good to see you, Deb. Ben, everyone. All right, good. Guys, so, uh, so far, uh, it's been a very exciting week. We had some really cool different stocks that made some really good bounces yesterday. Uh, we had some really uh, you know, Friday. You know, today is Friday, so we all know what to expect on a Friday. We want to be really careful uh, going into you know going into a weekend. But this is hump uh, hump month, where which means you know once uh, the holidays are over, you can see now things are really starting to pick up. So there's been a lot of great volatility in the market. The Dow's been um, been doing pretty well actually, even though we've been down uh, for the past couple of days. But I don't really it doesn't affect us. There was some great buying opportunities what happened in December so you know not only some of you guys did really great on your day trade but even you know some of us always focused on trying to do a couple of swing trades here and there was some good trades there but the big the big news this morning is the COTY uh, you could see right here guys uh, that this stock right here let me just blow this up oh uh, let me just bring the screen there you go so anyway, this stock right here was obviously the big winner right here. You can see it. Stock had a great, great pop right there so far at 8 o'clock this morning. Listen, I say it all the time. Early bird gets the money. Um, if you got in here a little bit late, everyone should have got in. You know, ooh, is my little thing right here. I'm a little out of the way. But uh, everybody should have got in somewhere around like 820 maybe. And uh, look, look how much money you're doing pretty well. So everything's working out pretty nicely on that trade right there. Some good profits on that one. So listen, uh, there's, there's, I have a good list of stocks right here, but I, I know that's the big one that we've been trading in pre-market right now. Remember, you know, listen, I just did two big events yesterday. I was on Candlestick Forum with, uh, uh, you know, with Bigelow yesterday. We had our own open house yesterday. And, uh, you know, the big thing everyone was always asking me is like, I didn't know I could trade in pre-market. Do you make money in pre-market? How do you know? Listen, that's the whole idea about being here. And if you missed it Friday, don't worry about it. You got Monday. <laughs> All right. But there are a bunch of stocks uh, out there that are moving. But before we do that, let me just go over what happened yesterday because, you know, I always like to do a quick little recap. We had a couple of nice moves on some of the stocks. Let's start off with the SLDB trade. So that one was probably the nicest winner of them all. That one, right out of the gate, stock got crushed. This is why you don't hold overnight positions. You know, you got to be a good day trader to realize that it's just, you just wake up one morning and you think, ah, maybe it'll come back, maybe it'll come back, maybe it'll come back. And then boom, you wake up and the stock's at six bucks. But listen, bottom fishing is my favorite. Stock had a really nice pop right here at nine o'clock this morning. Great stock went from $6 to nine, um, $8. Great two dollar move had such gorgeous shakes. It was just, it was just so easy to get in and out of them. I, I mean, everyone here should have made at least fifty cents on the stock, minimum fifty cents. So anyway, I'm I'm gonna still I'm gonna watch this stock, this SL uh, SLDB because sometimes you know maybe a day or two down the road they usually come back a little bit. But she didn't do too well. Uh, you know, I thought she looked pretty strong up until 12 o'clock, but then she kept on uh, cracking down and really didn't work out too well. But that was probably – that I was pretty much done just trading that one stock yesterday. SMGO was another nice little move. Another stock went from 12 down to 6. Great little bounce right there also. I'm telling you, there's a lot of stocks that got crushed. And even today, we're going to look at those. But once again, big fan of bottom fishing. There you go, right in the middle of the day. Stock got destroyed with news. 12 down to 6, down 50% like that. And sure enough, you can see a beautiful Fausto flag. Stock had a nice little rebound. I know some of you guys did pretty well on that one. The uh, the TPNL. So that one is breaking all-time highs. That stock had such a great push yesterday. The only little concern is she had a couple of, you know, her spreads were getting a little big time to time. So don't let the, don't let this uh, $6 stock fool you. But, uh, but breaking all time highs, that stock is pretty good. Um, I'm also going to keep an eye on that one long term regarding about, you know, maybe it might be a good swing trade. Remember, we traded that with Crohn's just uh, yesterday. I know we've been a big fan with CR, CRON. That thing, the same thing. Remember, we traded at 14. I said, listen, you know, we've been day trading it. It's time to swing trade it because when you break all-time highs, and sure enough, the thing ran all the way to 25 from 14.25. A lot of us did really, really well on that one. And uh, and yeah, yesterday I had a really nice little push too. So, but we all know about CRON. This is not your level one type of stock. Now, 
Getting back to uh, Grant says that was a definitely easy dollar. It sure was, right, Grant? So let's go over what's happening this morning. Uh, first of all, we, uh, before we get into some of the good ones, let's just have – I just want to kind of cover a couple of things because uh, some of us were – we're in class and uh, we were talking about, you know, e even yesterday, a lot of people ask me, what's a short squeeze and, you know, what, how, how does stocks get squeezed? Well, listen, if you go on my YouTube channel, I did a whole explanation on it. But let me tell you, there was a lot of great little short squeezes going on. And there's also a lot of good shorts. Here you have a stock that's taking a nice little hit here, PDD. It's trending down, had a little bit of a shake here right around, right before 8 o'clock in the morning. But this stock has been having a nice little run lately. You know, went from 20 to $30. You could see breaking lower lows so as the trend is your friend don't buck it that one looks like it's probably going to be a short apop talk that now here it was the classic stock yesterday some of us killed it they halted it this was your classic short squeeze stock went from a dollar fifty all the way to four dollars some of us cleaned up um but once again what do you think is going to go back to seven guys remember what i always tell you the last thing you want is something going up way too fast because whatever goes up fast comes down twice as fast uh, on the downside. And look where it is. It actually is lower than where it was when it started before that rally. So I just thought that was a good, a funny uh, to kind of show you where it ended up, kind of educate you guys. Remember, one of, the, one of the biggest things that I cannot teach you here in Cyber Training University is experience. And the more you see these stocks, you know, listen – Look at me as, you know, I'm the coach. We're going to go get ready to play, to play the game. I'm giving you the speech, kind of remind you what happened yesterday so we don't make those same mistakes. And every day we do that is a day learned that's going to make you better at it. Remember, you're going to make mistakes in trading. It's part of the game. There's going to be times you're going to lose trades. It's part of the game. But you got to know how to – you got need to know how to learn from it, you know, uh, and and uh, and not make that same mistakes. You know, last night I had a student of mine, uh, a student, um, somebody was in an event. He goes, I hate losing. And I'm like, why do you hate losing? Everyone, of course you hate losing, but it doesn't make you a bad person, makes you want to quit. You're supposed to learn from it. That's part of the game. Because someone says, how is losing a good thing? Because I have a whole motto. I tell people, listen, losing is a good thing. And they're like, how is it a good thing? Because if you know why you did it, you're not going to do it again, right? Um, it's part of anything. Anything Just because you drive a bike and you fell on it doesn't mean you're not going to get back on and drive it again. you got to learn from those mistakes because eventually you know you got to drive the bike. So it's like, a, it's like the stock market. You're going to trade the market. You're going to lose. You learn from it, and you get better at it. So anyway, that was a pretty cool one. I wanted to bring that one up. MNGA, this thing, my God, this thing is getting crushed crushed look at this one stock uh was at six dollars a couple of days ago look where it is just broke below a dollar fausto flag on the bid i mean unfortunately we can't short it but i just thought it was funny to kind of bring this up because i know so many people i saw on the internet with were, were praising this stock and i'm like all right well look how that's working out for you listen i'm, I'm going to say it again you want to learn how to swing trade you want to be a good options trade you damn well better know how to day trade first because if you didn't see the writing on the wall from yesterday the day before and you didn't get out when you're supposed to then like eh, you know maybe we'll come back tomorrow yeah how that's that how's that working out for you and let me tell you there's a lot of them that got crushed a lot of them all right i mean here's another one here's another stock that's getting killed carb i mean only thing i like about this one is it's coming to a major support levels back in december so i put that one on my watch list also uh, now, a couple of stocks that, on the positive note, one we saw earlier, the COTY. Guys, look at the iceberg orders everywhere. Great volume on the matrix on the level three. You know, stock is uh, you know, kind of building a little bit of a pennant right here. But this one is moving pretty nicely. Only thing right now in pre-market, it's got a little bit of a big spread. One stock a lot of you guys are hearing about on TV is probably Skechers. Whoever thought that these ugly shoes are actually – I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that word ugly. Hope I didn't defend anybody, you know, because uh, I'm just not a fan of that stock. I just can't ever figure Skechers. But whoever thought the company's public, right? So anyway, a lot of you guys remember this stock a couple of uh, a couple of, uh, about a couple of weeks ago. We traded and went from 26 all the way to, um, to 32, and it came right back down. You see that little candlestick right there. It was a pretty fun stock to trade. So anyway, it looks like she had good earnings yesterday, a little Fausto flag. She's breaking higher highs. Only issue here, big spread. And look at the tier sizes. There's really not that many shares outstanding in the stock, so you got to be a little on the careful. You got to be careful with that. VCRA, another one that's getting crushed right now from 40, went all the way down to 30. You know what? 
testing support levels right here. Look for the dead cat bounce. You know, that's what I'm looking at. And then, um, you know, not that I'm going to trade it because uh, we traded yesterday, but how awesome was GRUB? I forgot to mention this one. We saw the stock go from 88 down to 68. Stock was down 20 points. Is, is that fake news or what? Because the stock just came right back. Whatever came out that destroyed this stock was fake news. I guess because if it wasn't, it wouldn't went right back to where it started. Stock had major support levels here back in December. It, it hit it and bounced right back up. Let me tell you, I know some people that shorted that stock and got destroyed. Um, so listen, you want to play with fire, trade with $80 stocks, go knock yourself out. All right, so that is our – yep, that's what it called dead cat bounces. And by the way, don't be – you know, let's not be rude. I, I, I have a – I love my cat, and uh, she doesn't uh, – you know – uh, oh, does everybody know what the dead cat bounce means, by the way? Everybody keeps talking about that. Does anybody know what a dead cat bounce means? I don't know if anyone knows that. Just give me a yes or no. I have a cat, so I, I love my cat. My cat, Chloe, she's like the most important thing to our family. So everybody knows that dead, nobody knows a dead cat bounce. So if you have a cat, basically what they say is you grab it by two legs and, um, upside down and you let it go. And cats are so acrobatic that they'll just flip right back down. And then bounce and then jump. Um, if the cat doesn't bounce because you'll pretend it's dead, you know, that's how you know that that's what a dead cat bounces. No matter where a cat is, they are so acrobatic, probably the most acrobatic animal that I've ever seen in my life, probably more than a monkey probably. I mean, it's just amazing animals. Um, but that's what a dead cat bounce means. You can hold it upside down. They'll pretend it's dead. You drop it. It'll land right on his feet and it'll jump. So that's where a dead cat bounce comes back. So when we talk about a stock that this is a dead cat bounce, that's basically what it is. You know, you think the stock is dead, but it doesn't. It comes right back. All right. Even a dead cat bounce too, Ed. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I guess that was your tip of the day. So listen, if I don't see you this afternoon, listen, uh, for the 2.30 meeting, enjoy your weekend. This is what you train for. This is not a full-time job. I know a lot of you guys did pretty well with the COTY. And, uh, you know, and listen, I know we have a lot of new trial members here. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. Hopefully you want to, you know, listen, make sure you talk to your education advisor and uh, make sure you uh, see if you want to move forward. But listen, the stuff that you see, this is why we've been doing this for 25 years. Greatest job in the world. Thanks, everyone. Uh, good luck in the in the open, and uh, we'll see you back for the afternoon meeting at 2:30. All right. If I don't see you, enjoy your weekend.